Uh, this is the primary uh, anti-armor round that we use. It's the, called the uh, depleted uranium. The total amount of munitions that we covered in the time uh, our unit was there uh, would probably cover by a couple of layers at least two to three football fields. The giant munition you see behind me is the GBU 37 5,000 pound bunker buster. You deal with uh, military situations, you're away from your family, you're, you're on your own. On Monday night, President George W. Bush, our Commander-in-Chief, delivered an ultimatum to Saddam Hussein to leave Iraq within 48 hours. During our time over there, we started seeing individuals become ill with uh, various symptoms ranging from rashes all over their bodies or uh, chronic explosive diarrhea, heavy bleeding accompanied with that, excruciating headaches, the bones and the joints started aching and there were night sweats and uh, things only became worse as time progressed. There's enough paperwork right now to prove there is a golf around this and there's certain medicines that control it. And that's all they're doing right now is controlling it for a few. Iraq did use chemical and biological munitions. And they punched us with all these different vaccines supposedly to protect us. And knowing that some of these had never been tested on humans. And we're all forced to uh, roll up our sleeves and pull down our pants and get shots in the gluteus and in the uh, tricep muscles of our arms. Uh, before the Gulf War, I could run all day and leap tall buildings at a single bound. After the Gulf War, we couldn't walk a mile. <laughs> 